Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of Seven Questions with Stephen Brad. Ow! Seven <laughs> Questions. And we have an amazing guest. And we love her so much. <laughs> Do we ever? Oh, man, and we miss her. I love you more. Carolyn Hennessy's with us, ladies and gentlemen. Indie Series Award winner, Daytime Emmy nominee, Carolyn Hennessy. Yes, and yes. Daytime Emmy Award winner, too. Yes, yes. Well, that's right, right. But nominee for this year. My bad. Yes. My bad. No, no. Yeah, buddy. Never bad. Yeah. All right. So are you ready for the I don't know. Am dumbest I? questions you've ever been posed? The dumbest, uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay, let's let All me, right. You're ready. All right. Let me get a load of it. Question number one. Favorite redhead beside yourself? Lucille Ball. Great answer. No question. Wow, that was... Oh, well, please, come on. No, that is that... No Who... I thought you were going to say Flo from and... Alice. Possibly. And neither <laughs> of us are actually... Neither of us are actually the color that we end up being. You know what I mean? No, she, Oh, she sure. Doesn't. Well, yeah. we saw... In, we, we've seen a picture of you as a child and the hair... I mean, was, was, were you going to a colorist at age four? I was. Oh. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> can, okay. No. Can can you sh we 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 hear the dog down there? Just bring the dog up for a second so we can see what's going on here. Spanky, come here, Spanky. Spanky. Spanky, Spanky Jean, named after Spanky McFarlane and Jean Kelly. Come here, baby. Come oh, here. that's amazing. Hang on, I'm going down. Uh, okay. To pick up the dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Steve. Oh. 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 All right. Buddy. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Yeah. hey Spanky. <laughs> Spanky. <laughs> That's amazing. Is he a little he, camera shy? He's he is. Just, he's, he's just the best. He's, um, oh. he's a rescue and he's about five years old. Oh. And, and I, 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 you know, he was, he was very skittish when I first got him. And now he's just, he's just a love bug. Yeah. He's just a sweet, sweet, sweet. Dog. Oh, all right. But, hey, Spanky. But, um, I wish know. we had prepared some questions for Spanky. I know. Well, oh, wow. His head, it's weird. His head, his head, his his head, head disappeared. disappeared. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> back. <laughs> Next question. Yes. What high level job do you think you could lie your way into with no experience and nobody would notice? Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I, I think you could probably pick any position in the government and you will be fine. You, I mean, any position, anywhere. You, anywhere. Any, you could talk your, you could talk your way into anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you yeah. do it. With, you do it with such authority and gravitas. I could take over for Jeff Bezos like that, like that. Hey, let's not go with that crazy. If you need a number two. <laughs> yeah, because the Supreme Court wasn't crazy. No, um, yeah. I mean, that doesn't you know, seem that much of a stretch. It yeah. just doesn't because you know what? I would say I don't care what the law says. What's common sense? There you that go. He's lying. How do you know? Well, because I know. But the <laughs> law and technicality, I don't care. He's lying. Uh, no. There you go. You'd be good. Uh, and you look good at you look good in long, flowy black clothes. I look good in robes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh oh, watch out now. Yeah. yeah, and it would always be like, you know, J Judge Judy has the lace around the collar. It would yeah, just be a it'd be a wacky, it'd be wacky to see what I walked in with every day. You know. Well, your robe would be silk. Be a, silk, silk. <laughs> a little chiffon, and, uh, and, and maybe a little little transparent. Uh oh, Ayo. watch out now. Do you have a favorite piece of art? Um, I have two. Can I just can I can I give two? Okay, sure. Okay, all right. Um, you see it all over the place, and you don't understand its its magnitude on you until you actually see it in person. Mm. And that's, and that's Michelangelo's David. Mm. And I, and I happened to be in Florence as one will be. And sure. I stood in line to get into the, in, into the Academy and you walk and you walk, you walk down this hallway and then you turn a corner and there it is at the end is. of a long, long column. Have you seen it? Yeah, is it you have either of you seen? yeah. Yeah. And you feel sorry for whoever carved the statues on as you're walking down this hall because you're not looking at any of them. It's like it doesn't doesn't matter. They could be not there. And you walk down you this and you just look at it and it is it's the epitome of perfection. And wow. and it's so utterly moving. And pictures don't 
justice, rep replicas don't do it, does nothing do justice. It's, 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 it is worth the trip to Florence and standing in line just to see it. And, you know, there's the great debate of whether or not David has already killed Goliath or he's about to kill Goliath. I mean, it's like, what is this pose? And you just, and you're left mesmerized and wondering. I also have another, uh, another favorite piece uh, and it's by, <laughs> It's by a, a painter called Caravaggio, and it's yeah. called Bacchus, and it's and it's just it's stunning. It looks yeah, right, yeah, yeah. He's he's drinking, and uh, and it, to me it looks like Victor Mature. I just did, but anyway. Do you sing in the shower? I I sing everywhere. I do <laughs> sing in the shower. I sing a lot of Patsy Cline. Lots oh. of Patsy Cline, lots of Linda Ronstadt with Nelson Riddle. Oh. Um, that was my first uh, concert, by the way, was Linda Ronstadt. Yeah, it's so good. Her, her voice Crazy. was just so, so amazing. Um, but I'm also in the middle of, say, taking singing lessons with a woman oh. named Eileen Graff. Yes. So um, I took awesome. singing lessons years and years and years ago when I was studying musical theater and then left off it. And, uh, and now I'm back singing again. What period in history had the best fashion? Oh, wow. Uh, well, it wasn't the 70s. Um, no, it surely wasn't. Um, or the 80s. <laughs> or the 80s. Best fashion. It might be... Hang on, hang on, thinking. You know, it's either the court of, of, of Louis the 16th, Louis the 14th through the 16th, mm -hmm. where, you know, people were getting their heads cut off, sure. or, or czarist Russia. Oh. You know, the, uh, the, um, the jewels. <laughs> the jewels, the shiny things. Shiny the shiny things. bits. I, I'm not particularly thrilled with the fur. Sorry. Sure, I get that. But they, but they didn't have, you know... Um, yeah. Gore-Tex. Oh. They didn't yeah. have right. Gore yeah, their their but textile industry wasn't this a, a yeah. massive amounts of jewels, you know. And I I, I would have pot. I mean, I would have said Elizabethan England, but yeah. they didn't take baths. So yeah, no, just, you didn't want to be around them. Have you ever played a shy character? Have I ever played a shy character? <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Uh, um, uh, if I have, I've forgotten it. Um, if I have, I've completely forgotten what it was. The closest I've ever come, yeah, would probably, mm, except it would probably be Mother Superior in Saint Agatha, where oh, she has okay. not a not a sense of humor, and she's and she's soft spoken, but she's also evil. As well, so sure. Yeah, yeah. So there's, you know, that's the closest I've come to. Since handshakes may be a thing of the past, what do you propose as the new standard human greeting? French kissing. <laughs> I, I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to lick my microphone. That would have been weird. French kissing. <laughs> it's back, that's ladies it. and gentlemen. It's that's back. It. It's that's back. That's oh. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Don't, That's yeah, awesome. I mean, heck, well, just go for it. Screw yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know. A little namaste. I don't know. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. There's a, there's. A, I was watching the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad because I've been watching a lot of television. Yes, and there was, right. there, there's It's like, and he, he went like, you know. Something like bum bum bum. You know, it's like my oh, that's my nice. heart, my voice, my my I don't know, some something. That, of course that, he doesn't care. That's say. not gonna happen. Since we can't be face to face anymore, why don't we but, just do a little like a little butt bump? I love it. I love it. Right, because your face is you're facing away from each other, so you're not gonna aspirate. Yeah. <laughs> you might ask. Can I be wearing some assless chaps when I do it? <laughs> Stupid. This is this is going the wrong way. Who talks more? Diane or Spinelli? Is, is, is there even a contest? It's the kid. Please. Are you Do you, really? Do you think so? Oh, yes. Really? You can't shut him up. Uh, <laughs> and who has shut you up? Oh, please. Di uh, oh, but listen. That's only when I am forced to 
But Diane's a person of very few words when she when she has me. Spinelli, <laughs> Where's Spinelli, that Diane? And that, and that, and that, Spinelli's an energizer bunny. She deals with other people. She doesn't have to talk a lot with Max, Lord knows. And oh. Alexis and she are now on the same wavelength. Sure. So, you know, it's only, but, but Spinelli, I mean, Diane talks a lot when she's in court. Every time I Spinelli see you, you're talking. Talks Spinelli talks yeah. a lot when he's by himself. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah, I, when we're in scenes together, we it's it's usually you chastising me for something, so you'll talk, yeah. but then I'll try to talk to. Talk, then you talk over me and tell me and tell me why you had to do that thing you had to do. That's true. That's true. Mm. The only person that I talk less with when I'm in scenes with them is Kirsten. Max. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't talk a whole lot with her. No. God bless everybody, her. God bless everybody, her. But everybody else, now, I talk more than for sure. All right. Yeah. Now here's my question for you two. Yes. Uh, ooh. Shows I, already, it. I already know the answer. Show's have over. Either, have, either of, <laughs> mm, have either of you read The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli yet? I have. I read it when you gave, you gave me the advance. Remember, you gave me the advance of it. And I was like, this is amazing. Yes. Huh? That's right. And you I, did. And now yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to move my eyes down from the camera to Steve. Have you read it yet? You've only you had 12 got, years. You've got, right? You have to at least read your chapter. It's so it's, good, dude. It's you so did. funny. Did you it's write so it? Funny. Of course I wrote it. In fact, I'm in kidding, fact, dude. I'm in kidding. fact, I was, when I was watching in preparation for this, when I was watching your very first seven questions, and one of the questions was, what buddy movie would you guys like to recreate? And I was going, some like it some hot. Like it hot. Some, some like it hot. Some like it yeah. hot. Yeah. You, the two of you in drag. Oh, please. I'd mortgage my house to see that. Isn't that I'm, Tango and Cash? No, no, no. No, really, some like it hot. Okay. Yeah. I mean, really. All where right. you spend most of the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, I can tell you this. I may not have read your book but I've signed an awful lot of copies. <laughs> Just go read your chapter. There you go. It's called, it's called Some Prefer It Incredibly Warm. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yes. Some, some like it hot. That would be Well, me. you know, now, you know, um, Maurice is now a New York Times bestseller. And did you, did you prep him for it? Did you tell him how it feels? No. No, I can't, I can't, I can't get him on the phone. He won't return a phone call. Paula, Paula calls me. Well, you know, Paula calls right. me. Paula is great. But yeah. Maurice is like, you know, and he's like, hey, how you doing? Carolyn Hennessy, we love you. <laughs> I love you more. Thank you, questions thank, you for doing this. thank you, dear. Okay. Hey, guys, Steve Bradford here. As you know, we like things that are fun and awesome. We even named our podcast after awesome. awesome. And we are so excited to welcome you to our Patreon. Go behind the scenes with us at General Hospital, on our comedy tours, and even in our real lives. You're going to see things that nobody else gets to see. So if you want more stuff like this, and this, check out my dressing room, and this, oh yeah, you're in the right place. More exclusive content and more access than ever before. Welcome to the Stone Cold and Jackal Patreon channel! Woo! <laughs>